I was born two months premature. I wasn't breathing when I was born. And doctors were afraid that I wouldn't walk at all. I had spine surgery when I was four years old. Because I wasn't walking at all, my parents were scared to death. And I tried this new surgery called a rhizotomy when I was four in St. Louis, Missouri. I was one of the first babies to ever have that surgery in the United States. And from there, I had to learn how to walk with walkers and braces on my legs and live life on a different side of the fence compared to a lot of other kids who were normal. I know that it was extremely hard on my parents, especially my mom, to see, see me like that and to see me grow up the way that I did, having to be a little different than other people and having to see the kids respond the way they did to me. Into fifth grade or so, when a lot of my friends were playing sports, I couldn't play sports. I was told if I took a helmet to my back, I would possibly be paralyzed. That hurt me, because obviously I'm a kid and I see all my friends doing these things that normal kids do, and I didn't know what to do with that, and I was very sad. Uh, when I was 20 years old, I'm playing at the rec at K-State, and I'm playing probably four times a week after I lifted weights, because I wanted to be as normal as possible. I was playing with a bunch of my friends, some people that I knew just from the basketball court. I landed on somebody's foot, I hurt my leg, I didn't know what was going on, I tried to keep playing on it. I just thought I was playing too much because I had a lot of pain in the back of my leg. I didn't go get it checked out because I thought I just needed rest, but that's in December. Fast forward to May of 2006, I go to the doctor with my dad because the pain doesn't go away and come to find out my hips dislocated by three inches. The doctor tells me when did this happen, I told him December and he looked at me like I was crazy. But I just wanted to keep playing basketball because I loved it. That tested me a lot because that was the hardest thing I'd done in my life because it was five months of no movement. I was in my basement on the couch every day, all day long, but just hoping that one day I can get out of there and get back to normal life. Well, after all of my surgeries and after all of my college classes were over, I got my master's degree and I got lucky enough in my last semester of grad school to get to the top of the profession in the National Football League when I interned in PR and community communications with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And I got to do that as a kid that was told I couldn't play sports. I got into a profession that I decided I wanted to do because sport management enabled me to be around sports every day of my life. And it gave me an opportunity to follow my dreams and not let sports be taken away from me ever again. My determination to do the best job I can and my passion for what I do is the greatest asset that I have. And most people look at me and say, well, not only does he potentially need help to get through the door, he can't do this job. Well, they don't know what my job is until I shake their hand, I look them in the face and I tell them, I'm the assistant AD of Sports Information. And they're kind of surprised. And I've seen that my whole life. But I'm not surprised, I know who I am. I have no doubt in my mind that I can do whatever I wanna do. My love for the game, my love for the players and the coaches and the staff at the schools that I'm at, they understand that I'm here to stay. And that's all I wanna do.